This tutorial discusses quiz and simulation reports in iSpring Learn. Access reports by clicking the Reports button. This group includes reports that track quiz and simulation results. Each of these reports can be generated only for presentations that contain quizzes and simulations. The score results report shows how users performed on their assessments. First, select one or more content items from the list. You can show deleted items by checking this box. If you like, you can narrow the report to a specific organization, group, or date range. You can also select the Show Report Below checkbox to keep these configuration options visible when you view the report. Now click Run Report. The report shows the date taken, title, and user who took the assessment. You can see how long users took, whether they passed or failed, total score and percentage, and the number of correct answers. Any of these columns can be sorted for easier access to information. Now let's look at the Answer Breakdown Report. You can only select one item at a time since the report is so detailed. At the top of the report, you'll see an overview showing the number of users who took the assessment, plus pass-fail ratio and average score. Below you'll see each question in the assessment showing the question type and the point value. The correct answer is indicated with a green check mark. Over here in the right-hand columns, you can see the distribution of people who gave particular answers. For a well-written quiz, this can be particularly useful for determining the types of misconceptions people may have that lead to common mistakes. The Attempt Detail Report is another detailed report that shows how individual users answered questions. Select a content item, then choose an organization, and start typing in a username to select a user. This report is similar to the previous one, except it focuses on a particular user. Here you can get a complete picture of the areas in which a student may need help. Now let's have a look at the Progress Achievement Report. Here you can select multiple content items and a set of users. If you select a group and uncheck this box, you can narrow the report down to specific users. Here you'll see a list of users, the groups they belong to, and their progress on the selected content items. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.